Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the lookout for the newest ambassador of a fit and healthy lifestyle with, of course, none other than Century Tuna. Event of the summer. I'm amazing. I'm getting high. I'm sure you think I speak a little I think the best quality was a person having a good personality. To practice self love and believe in themselves. You just get protein anywhere you want. That is a century to them. My name is Nicholas Chua. You can call me Nico for short. Hi. Our LGBTQI community that we can also be a fit inspiration. Fitness should be fit. Diet is really the key to a healthy lifestyle. A super bod should not just be physically fit or mentally fit. He should be what I want to call as holistically fit. This is the final callback for the hottest summer event this year. Okay, there you have it again. Isa pong maulan at malabig na gabi, Saturday night sa inyong lahat. My name is Dale, your entertainment news portal correspondent. And para bigyan tayo ng init at ng liwanag ngayong uh, madili, malamig at umuulang gabi, we have a very special super bud guest, a very promising and um, he's not, he is such a sunshine to see. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. And Of course, Century Tuna Super Buds is the hottest event this summer with over 1 million pesos in cash plus a lot of exciting perks. One male and one female um, Super Bud will be declared as the next image model and ambassador of Century Tuna and will get 500,000 pesos in cash, in cash plus a lot of exciting perks. Okay, so... Ayun po, without further ado, our promising, okay, our, ang talagang kanyang ngiti ay grabe, nakaka, nakakapampa good vibes talaga. It's raining man, ladies and gentlemen, I give you super bud, Enzo Bonoan. Hello, I'm Enzo. Going on. Yes, ayan, mga kaibigan. And for you to get to know more, Enzo, lalo na kanyang advocacy, here's 
the video. Hi, my name is Enzo Benoan. I am 26 years old and I work as a transformation coach. And as a transformation coach, I believe that everybody deserves fitness. If you think about it, our bodies are meant to be nourished and are built to move. Doesn't that mean that everybody deserves fitness? Unfortunately, people think that fitness is scary or is exclusive to a certain few or para sa mayaman lang yan. That should not be the case. I encourage each and every one of you to just get started and have fun with the process. And I assure you that you will not regret your choice. Wow, transformation coach. Now, um, paano to? Ha, paano ka nagsimula dito bilang isang transformation coach? Well, Kuya Dale, um, the story of helping other people live healthier and active lives goes far beyond my first client. It starts with my own journey kasi. Um, I believe by walking the talk and practicing what you preach and preaching what you practice. So for me, I actually started out as a very skinny boy and I had a lot of self-image issues. I was very shy and I was bullied. Um, but thank goodness for fitness. It was actually what helped me believe in myself. And I experienced so many benefits. I decided that it was something that I wanted to keep for myself life for a lifetime. Talaga. And because people have asked me, Oi, bro, um, I was able to start fitting in my clothes better. I was feeling more confident. I had more energy. And people were asking me how I did it. And that's why I decided to help out my friends. And that was in college when I got started with my first client. And after I graduated, it's been very fulfilling. Um, to be honest, I believe in doing what you love. And I, what I love is really making an impact in the lives of others. And through fitness, I can make a really big impact in my opinion. Okay, so what are those deciding factors diba, from skinny boy? you become who you are today. So what are the desi deciding factors Now, I have to do this? I have to uh, uh, make a change. I know, I know you, Maya. Well, um, deal. I believe in three ways to find out your vocation or your calling in life. Unang una, what's something that you're good at? What's something that the world needs? And what's something that you love doing? It turns out that fitness is encapsulated by all three. Um, I love fitness. I feel that I'm good at it. It's something that I've been working on myself for the past 11 years of my life. I started with fitness at the age of 15. Um, and I believe it's something that the world needs now more than ever. About with, with people getting sick, um, especially in our, with our pandemic, um, more people have been conscious regarding their health. Eh? But on top of that, I, I just wanted to name some statistics. Lang, ha? Um, in the Philippines right now, one out of every three Filipinos are currently obese. So obesity is different from overweight. Um, obesity means that you have higher body fat percentages, and it can lead to further risks such as coronary heart disease, which is the number one cause of death in the country today. Okay. So, Ayon, um, eto, I just want to ask, this is very personal to me uh, kasi about sa akin to kasi um i started uh, this journey itong uh, pagbabago okay pagbabago talaga kasi before nag-start ako pero uh tumagal lang ng 2 weeks 3 weeks then balik uli ako sa dati ngayon kasi parang sabi ko i have to make a change kasi ang dami ko pang pangarap so i have to attain whatever i want kasi hindi ko siya ma-attain kapag ka nagpatuloy ako sa ano ko sa uh, bad habits ko, or sa mga wrongdoings ko uh, regarding my, my body. Uh, before, nakakaubos ako ng napakaraming kanin. I can eat um, some bandihadong kanin sa upuan, siguro. Kaya ko ubusin yun. Pagka ano, yes, ganun ako katindi. Suki ako ng only rice, suki ako ng mabuffet, ganyan. Yeah. Ngayon, ngayon um, I'm trying to, ano, to change it kasi uh, gusto kong may mabagoy. Eh. May mga gusto pa akong marating. Ma um, right now, I'm actually sa umaga, I have this extreme walking. So, that's 9,000 to 10,000 steps. Then, um, pagdating sa bahay, I have 20 minutes squat. So, nag-squat sa cover. Ang counting ko is dalawang 1 to 16, then 
uh, pahingahinga ng 10 seconds kasi medyo masakit na. Masakit na sa tuhod, sa binte, yung dalawang one to six. So, that's for 20 minutes. Then, mga 4 to 5 repetition ng ano, jumping jacks. Tapos, ang meal ko, I have a cup of rice every morning. Uh, nilagang egg. Then, kung I, if we have a pan-fried na chicken breast, tapos minsan uh, para lang maano ma satisfy yung ano ko nag 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 I mean may hotdog ako yon so minsan nilalagyan ko lang then sa sa ano sa ano naman sa tanghalian a cup of rice then ko ano yung niluto namin food ay ayan ko ano yung niluto namin food sorry okay, hello, uh, Enzo. um there you go better ah uh, hold on um yung camera Okay, it happens, mga kaibigan. Nangyayari po yun sa mga live chat namin. Pero we ha- uh, let's wait for Enzo. Ayan, mukhang ina- inaayos natin mga technical problems. Gaya nga nang sabi po ni Kirk, nung nakaraan, we are here in the Philippines. And alam natin ang connection ay gana yan. It, it gets in trouble. So it takes uh, a lot of patience. Ayan, nakita ko li ang... Magandang uh, mukha ni Enzo. Ayan. So, no, ayan, for lunch... Nice na. Oh, ayan, for lunch, I have a cup of rice. Then, uh, ayan, uh, kanong uh, niluto ng mother kong gulay. Ang gulay namin ngayon, yung uh, ginagamit na oil ng mother is canola. Halos pinapahid lang siya namin sa sa pan. As in, hindi na ma-oil. Tapos, ayan, isa. Then, uh, ayan, chicken breast, uh, ganun. Then, pan fried. Hindi siya deep fried. So, iwas sa kami doon. Then, at night, kung may veggies, ayun, veggies, tas yung meat na chicken breast or fish. Or pagka walang, walang veggies, sa ubos ang veggies, uh, yung meat, kung chicken breast yan or fish or uh, lean beef, uh, papartner ako ng apple. So, ganun ang ginagawa ko ngayon. And, ayun nga, naramdaman ko resulta, talaga may pagbabagong magaganap sa sistema mo. Pero, yun talaga yun eh. Kasi, especially when you get pag nagpupu ka yon madalas talagang nag adjust yung system mo and right now i'm i'm loving it kasi masarap yung tinatanggal mo yung excess na uh, dumi at in not unnecessary uh, fats or what do you call this mga hindi kailangan ng katawan mo na sobra sobra yan that's so, great that's, that's so, really good uh, uh, by by Monday, magtitimbang ako uli. So, buti may, may weighing scale kami. So, imamonitor ko na siya. Yan. Okay. Ngayon, balik tayo sa'yo. So, nai-share ko lang siya. Balik tayo sa'yo. Um, as, uh, what they call this, uh, transformation coach, ano na yung na-experience mong fulfillment or result from your clients na Meron ka bang hindi malilimutan na, wow, nabago ko siya. Kasi parang kumbaga naging challenge siya sa'yo, pero ang nangyari is, it became a challenge, but nagkaroon ng magandang result. Oh, um, well, to be honest, uh, Kredel, being able to handle a number of clients, it it's amazing how you get to experience and be part of their story with them. Um, I guess one of the more memorable ones would be one of my first clients. So this was back in 2015. What happened was um, I was working out at Gold's Gym. Um, and I actually did notice that there was this there was this kid. Um, he was, I think he was in first year high school at the time. I that whenever he was whenever I entered the gym, he was already on the treadmill. And when I would leave and I work out for about 90 minutes, he was still there on the treadmill. And uh, this guy was on the heavier side. And I noticed that um, he would, parang antagal na, it's like many months, I noticed that he was there. So I decided to approach him one time. Uh, he was he finished his workout, I decided to approach him. And then, um, it was, this is the first time talaga na I was trying to go out of my out of my comfort zone, trying to help people, even if even if I'm, I don't know them. Eh. Um, because I really wanted to help this kid out because I know what it's like to not make progress. I know what it's like to be stuck and that can be very demotivating. I can see he's really working hard. Eh. Kaso nga lang, 
if you're not getting the results that you want, it can be very easy to give up. So I decided to approach him. I asked him how I introduced myself. I asked him how how um, long has he been working out? How much has he progressed? And I asked him if he's actually um, how's he doing them in terms of the nutrition side? Because weight management, um, ito tip po para sa mga viewers natin. Weight management, if your goal is to lose weight or gain weight, it's actually 80% what you eat and 20% is the exercise. So it, he revealed to me that he was really only focusing on the exercise aspect. And that's actually very um, normal. Naman. Many people do veer towards exercise if they want to lose weight. But I decided to open up um, I'll open up my coaching services to him. So in five um prior to meeting me, he lost five uh he lost 14 pounds in five months for uh for a really big guy. This um about a 300 pounder. Um that's actually really slow. Um that's why we tried out the program and he was able to lose another 14 pounds in just two months. So that cut his progress curve by a lot. That really improved it. And um, he was able to continue it. Uh, he lost 14 pounds initially. And then he brought it down to 50. Like a girlfriend, diba? And um, I really, his, I have friends apparently with um, his siblings. Eh. Um, and they noticed nga na nagkaroon ng change. Nagkaroon ng change. He was more confident, more outgoing. And I... I guess these are the things that you really remember. Um, I've handled a lot more clients after him, but you'll always remember the ones whose life whose lives really changed, like by an one eighty degrees. Okay, sige. Ngayon, um, from elementary to college, you studied in Ateneo. Okay, yeah. ano sige? Okay, me. I'm sure we loyalty award ka na rin, kahit paano. <laughs> okay. So, ayun. Anong value or what particular uh, learnings from Ateneo ang daladala mo na, uh, what do you call this, na ina-apply mo ngayon para maipanalo yung competition na to, itong Century 2 na Superbirds? Oh, that's a very interesting question, Gerdale. Um, Thank you for asking that. For me... One thing that has been ingrained in me in my 16 years in the Ateneo, um, it's the value of being a man for others. I think that the idea of being a man for others is living your life so that other people can be able to live their lives as well. Um, I think since we only have one life, might as well make the most out of it. And when we say make the most out of life, it really depends from person to person. Some people would like to make the most out of their life by traveling the world. Most people would like to, many people would like to perhaps um, uh, follow their own passion, like let's say music or something. I guess my, in, my definition of impact is how many people I'm able to affect with my own mission in life. So being a man for others for me is what it takes to become a super bod and to win superbots because i'm i'm looking at it in a perspective of impacting the lives of many i'm very thankful that i'm with a company that has been there for many filipinos during this time of trial itong itong pandemic very thankful ako that century tuna has been able to respond very positively and help so many filipinos with their needs when it comes to food diba however for me on a in a in a um, individual standpoint, I think that I can ride on ride on this momentum and try to help and empower more people to live healthier and active lives. It's about living a life for others so that they can live theirs as well. Okay, sige. Ngayon ipakilala mo naman sa amin. Uh, who is Enzo as a son? Oh, well, I, I'm guessing you saw my mother's, ano, my mother's comment. Yeah. Um, hi, Ma. <laughs> Proud mom here, Savani Miles Villimor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she's my mom. Actually, yeah. uh, I'm very proud of my mom because my fitness journey really began with my family, to be honest. Um, I used to be a really skinny kid, yes, but I never would have started my fitness journey had it not been for my 
my older sister and my parents they started on with a healthier lifestyle before me and because of their transformation because of their progress i was motivated and inspired myself so thank you to my parents thank you to my older sister um zabrine um and if you look at them today, they're really, really healthy. Um, I'm happy to say that my mom's often mistaken as my girlfriend. <laughs> so what it's like to be a son? Um, I'm I'm from a family of five, two parents and three coming anak. Um, I'm the middle child in between um, two sisters. So growing up, growing up as the only boy, I guess. Um, there are a lot of expectations. I agree that there are a lot of expectations, and uh, and I'm, I'm sure many middle children will also agree that you also have some degree of independence as well. Um, I'm happy with the way that my parents raised me. Um, I'm happy that they were able to discipline me enough, but allow me to find myself independently as well. Um, my parents. My parents would always want what's best for me, and that's why I value what they tell me, uh, even until today. I don't live in I don't live with my family, but I I agree that they are the most influential people in my life. Okay, now, sino naman si Enzo bilang uh, kapatid, lalo lalo na isa kang ikaw ay gitna. <laughs> okay, okay, that's interesting. So when you're the only boy. With two sisters, sometimes you can get pretty protective. Um, so uh, if if someone makes my sister, any of my sisters cry, to be honest, I would feel bad as well. Um, because anyway, I want someone to treat them properly. Uh, so yes, as an only boy, I would feel pretty protective as a brother. Um, but on top of that, I feel that I want to, I want to make up for my immaturities as a younger sibling, because I mean, I grew up with my older sister. Eleven months lang kami apart, and we were very immature. We always fought. We always fought. Um, we had a lot of. Um, we were polar opposites even. Um, but to be honest, our our relationship now has really improved. Also with my younger sister, and I really want to. I really want to be that brother that even if I don't live with them, whenever they see me, I want to make it a good time. Make it a good time. Because you can't choose, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. And they're the only ones that we've got. So I really want to, uh, I really want to make the most out of my time with them. Lalo lalo na, I, we're, none of us are married yet. So while we still have time with one another, I'd like to make the most out of it. Okay, may tanong dito. How is Enzo as a uh, cat dad of six? Because di ba you love cats? Yeah. Yes. Uh -oh. Um, I have seven cats with me. Um, I only have six. I only have six cats. But our our neighbor um asked us to babysit the extra one, so we have seven. Um, so I love cats. I used to not like cats, to be honest. I was more of a dog person. Coming from Ilocos, we grew up with dogs. Um, however, I learned that cats are very, very good to have as pets. They're uh, independent. They're clean. Um, they don't need much. They don't need that much attention, even. <laughs> um, so I first started by rescuing one cat. Uh, Presley was my first ever cat who walked up to my door as a, as a. Um, stray cat, kitten, two weeks old, who didn't have her mom, uh, his mom with him. So we adopted, uh, I adopted Presley, and dumame, dumame. Eventually, we, we learned that a cat should not be alone. Kailangan may kasama. And then I walked past another cat along Saverville Avenue. I decided to pick it up. And four, five, six cats, um, I really love them. And Ito, I, all my cats are rescued, by the way. All my cats are rescued because um, my neighbors who used to work in the Philippine Animal Welfare Society, or POS, they let us know that there's actually an overpopulation problem when it comes to cats and dogs outside. Um, so I would, uh, instead of purchasing a cat, um, I would rather get 
uh, save a cat from from streets because what happens if you're a street cat you are more likely to die of um, any health problem you're more likely to get run over you're more likely to experience violence so i'd rather save a cat from the streets Wow, actually I'm impressed kasi may may alaga din kaming pusa and may alaga din kaming aso <laughs> na naririnig mo di ba? Yes, and they are brothers. Ayun, magkasunod oh, sila. Nice. Sila magkaawa. Magka- di sila magkaaway. Okay, um eto naman. Um I'm sure everyone wants to know this and si siguro gusto din tumarinig ng mami mo at ng ate mo. Who is Enzo as a boyfriend? Oh wow. And someone has a boyfriend. Um, yes. I guess I'd like to think that as a boyfriend, I would be... I, I am someone who is um, progressive and understanding. I I think that I'm more... I'm relatively patient. And I'm, I think I'm relatively patient. And I want to always get the full picture before I give my final conclusion or opinion towards something. So I don't get mad easily. Um, I forgive easily also. Um, but on top, I guess something that I can always work on would be my patience because you can never be too patient. I, I, um, it's, even, it's even said in the Bible that you're supposed to be forgiving 77 times seven times, which actually pertains to infinity. Um, and I think it's really about understanding and compromise at the same time because it um if you're if you're in a relationship you're not going against one another you guys are really building each other up so it's supposed to be a team effort to reach your goals in life um one thing that i learned was the triangle method <laughs> okay so this is not in basketball huh the triangle okay so the triangle method is really interesting um ito ako, ito yung partner ko both on two different um, points of the triangle. So in order for us to get closer to one another, we would like to go here, up here. Okay, so we're going closer to the tip. And the tip is actually um, God. Uh, so wow. for me, getting closer with a person should also mean getting closer to God. And getting closer to God means a lot of things for me. It means fulfilling your purpose as a human it means um being a man for others um it means loving your neighbor so yeah um that's what it means for me to be a boyfriend okay um ano naman ang ideal ano mo, ideal girl or ideal woman ni enzo oh wow okay ideal woman so, yeah, i'd like to think that the girl that i'm looking for can never w- I would never find a perfect girl. I would never find a perfect girl because no one's perfect. However, um, there are some things that I do look for a girl that are um, non-negotiable. Um, we should have the same values. We should have the same values at the very least um, because I don't want to compromise my values for the sake of being in a relationship, to tell you the truth. I want to be able to live out my values and know that someone else is supporting me alongside it. And I've been in past, I've been in relationships in the past where my values have been compromised and I did not I was not happy. So yeah, I think that's the most important thing being able to have be be by someone who has the same values as me. Wow, okay. Now um Ang sabi mo dito, you are you love to play a uh, Rubik's cube. Yeah, uh, ano yung ano yung ano don? Ano yung uh, what's interesting about this one? Kasi ako, uh, yeah, minsan nito try ako pero hindi kasi ako ganun ka ano. I mean, <laughs> ano ako eh? I mean, hindi ako ganun ka. What do you call this? Hindi ako ganun ka chaga, okay? Uh, uh-huh. What 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 makes you ano uh, interested in playing this a uh, Rubik's cube? Okay, good deal. Um, I actually have one with me right now. Um, so a Rubik's Cube for me, uh, this has been one of my turning points in life as well. So I can talk, on, I can talk another time about this um, because this was a huge part of my life. Um, to tell you the truth, uh, a Rubik's Cube 
is okay. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle, but more it more than that for me, it really signifies um, certain disciplines. You won't be able to learn a Rubik's cube without patience. Um, you have to be patient enough to learn it. But if you're on the competing level, uh, I used to compete worldwide for Rubik's cube tournaments. Um, wow! I my first uh, my the first time I ever won a tournament was in was in Singapore um, as a 13 year old. I was 13 at the time. Yes, um, and. It was really life changing for me, but I wouldn't have won had it not been for hours of practice, hours of research, um, and also uh, Rubik's cube taught me how to believe it or not. Rubik's cube has taught me to socialize. Rubik's cube is a single person sport, yes, but being able to meet other people who have the same interests as you, I was able to learn how to talk to other people, and as a shy kid. This really changed my life. Um, I used to be very addicted to this, but eventually I learned that um, this is like a... For me right now, it's just a hobby. It, it's something that gets my brain working, and it's a good party trick. Like that. Yes, amazing, amazing. Okay, so uh, umabot na tayo sa first 30 minutes ng ating live chat interview. So... Before we proceed on the second half, meron tayong simpleng pag-game and we call it Picture Mo, Say Mo. Okay, so we will yeah. be flashing five pictures na kinuha namin sa mga social media accounts mo. We did. One by uh, one. At natakot ako sa mga pictures na pinili nyo, ah. <laughs> <laughs> one by one sa screen, okay. ipa-flash namin. So then, please tell us a short description. Uh, short lang, at saka sh or short story about okay, that thank you. particular photo. Sorry. Okay, so I think we're ready. Let's start. Picture mo, say mo. Let's have the first picture. Wow. Yeah. Um, this happened back in March of 2019. Um, this is one of the, I'd say it's one of the biggest days in my life. This is a culmination of six months, six months of preparation and four years of internal self-doubt. Um, Bodycon, which is bo short for Body Convention, is a competition by Gold's Gym, and it's a celebration of fitness. Um, it this was the fourth running, so I was the winner of Gold's Gym Bodycon four. But as early as Bodycon one, I wanted to join, but I did not feel ready until I decided, you know what, ready or not, here I come. Three months before the auditions or the applications, I decided to prepare for it already. And I really wanted to win it. I really gave it my all. But I also wanted that win to stand for something. Um, so, of course, that's where my advocacy came in. My advocacy for Century is roughly the same as my advocacy uh, last in, in Bodycon. I wanted to um, help people through inclusive fitness. Right? Um, to tell you the truth, I was crying in that picture. Um, uh, ako niyan because six months endeavor yun eh. That was a six uh -oh. month endeavor. Um, and uh, the Lord, the Lord blessed me with that win. Okay, let's have now the second picture. Picture mo, say mo. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is last um February. So um, Gold's Gym and UFC Gym have this magazine called Move. So um, they, since it was February, they wanted a Valentine's-themed um, cover. So uh, my, my significant other and I, uh, see Julia. Um, Julia, if you're watching, shout out to you. Um, we were chosen to be on the cover of the magazine and on the feature article. So... We were talking about fitness with your partner and yeah, um, we actually met through fitness and she really supports me through my fitness goals. Okay, let's have now the third picture. <laughs> <Ayan. laughs> I did not expect this picture, huh? Laugh trip. Okay. Um, well, alam nyo naman. Alam nyo naman. Nung nagkaroon ng 
nung nagkaroon ng lockdown, ECQ, pahaba na ng buhok ko. I'm sure many oh. guys, their experience that, and I don't like having long hair. I, I This is actually long for me already, to be honest. Um, for me, it's harder to maintain and mainit. Um, that's why I prefer short hair. <laughs> so, um, I actually, I actually thought of the idea like, you know what? Why not? Why not? Uh, let me borrow some hair. I called Julia. Julia, um, Malika. <laughs> so that's actually her hair. And the caption was, um, coming out of quarantine like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh nga eh, kasi di ba, uh, walang parlor, walang salon, di ba? So, oh, yun, uh, talagang, yes, good thing na lang dito sa amin, we have a neighbor na stylist, a hair stylist, so, nakaano namin siya, nakakausap din, ayan, na, nakapapagdupit lang namin kahapon. Okay, uh, let's have the fourth picture. All wow. Right. Um, that actually encapsulates my whole, well, Majority of my journey, um, like a huge part of my fitness journey was me trying to gain weight and confidence on the side. Um, I was even skinnier than the picture here on the left. I was much skinnier. Um, and I guess me wanting to gain weight was just my way of trying to go out of the box that people set for me. Uh, I was labeled as lampayato. I was labeled as skinny. Um and I wanted to be more than that. So I wanted to be better for my own sake. Okay. Now let's have the last one. The last picture. Picture mo. Say mo. Ayan. Oh, one of the coolest days in 2020 in my life. Um, I mean, go. I think this would be one of my 2020 highlights. Um, this day, my goodness. They're my backstory to Kuya Dale. Um, okay, so I actually had a, a speaking engagement in Ateneo that was booked many weeks before. So I did not know what the schedule of the callbacks would be. I did not know it was going to be a whole day thing. Um, so I went there really early so I could finish early, right? Um, but I found that that it's yung to yung uh, uh, yung engagement ko. So, I asked if I could go ahead. So, I was the first ever person to, first ever guy to walk on stage and and talk in front of everyone um, because I had to go to Ateneo to talk to junior high school students about my career. It was a career talk and I was invited to be the speaker. Um, it was really... It is really um, rewarding because I had to rush back. I had to rush back. Um, uh, Jacob, if you're listening, um, tayo mag uh, Jacob told me to come back at this by this time. Okay, so oh, I really rushed back. I really rushed back. And thankfully, um, rushing back to Ortigas and Marco Polo was all worth it. Um, I was my name was the second to be called. To be honest, I don't like being the last one to be called because you have so many jitters going on. But yeah, I'm very thankful to be among these fine men and women representing Century Tuna and um, being part of this message. Uh, stay strong, Pilipinas. Yes, and there you have it. Ang ating picture mo, same mo. Okay, grab yun ha, talagang. After you, uh, no, you present yourself, talagang you go to Ateneo for the talk, then you you come back again. Grabe yon, Sobra yung yeah. effort, di ba? Okay. Well worth it, though. So, okay. Before we proceed sa ating chikahan, um, basahin muna natin ilang mga comments. Okay. So, we have, ayan. From Ramona Julia Sukdang. Go! Hashtag Superbad Enzo. Thanks, Julia. From Gary Q. Oxilian. All the, all the best. Salamat to Gary. From Luis Benyas, watching from YouTube. Watching. Stay home. Importante po yan. From Angie Perez. Wow. From Emil Tomenes. Go hashtag Superbud Enzo. Emil, marami salamat sa support. 
Ayan, from uh, from Ramona, Julia Sukgang. Woohoo! Oh wow! Super solid transformation. Lodi na Lodi. He he he. Hashtag rice is life. Oh oh yeah. Before talaga rice is life. Rice is still life. Really. Yes. And we have we have Hakoboko. Go go go. Hashtag Superbod Enzo. Thank you, Jacob. Woo. From ayon, from mommy Miles William Orbano and from proud mom here. Love you, ma. Oh, from ayon, from Superbod Jason saying a happy Saturday, Sir Dale, and hello hashtag Superbod Enzo. Thank you for watching, uh, Kuya Jason. Kuya Jason. Jason, nice to see you here. Yes, from. Ramona Julia Sukdang again, a family that stays fit together, stays together. From we have Katerina Soto, hashtag Superbad Enzo for the win. Salamat, Erin. Okay, from RC Rome Kalubayan, hello, Dale. Ah, hello, Kamusta, Mars. Yan. From Julius Dado. Uh, hashtag Superbad Enzo for the win. Dado, marami salamat, bro. Again, from uh, Ramona, Julia Suknang, hashtag adopt, don't shop. Ayan, yung para, yung uh, sa cats kanina, yeah, siguro. Dogs, yeah. From Ansi Suyosa Soriano, hashtag Superbad Enzo for the champion. Salamat, Miss Ansis. Yeah, and from Ramona Julia Sukgang, sabi niya, forgiving with a heart. And sinabi niya, kanin, sinabi niya, six packs came out of those six months. He, he, he. Well, actually, she is not wrong. <laughs> yeah, and again, we have from Mika Martinez, hashtag Superbud Enzo. Sabi din niya, yee! Mika, maraming salamat sa support. Then we have again Ramona Julia Sukgang. Enebe. <laughs> okay, and we have from John Ezekiel Laura. What age did you start working out? Yeah, um, John, um, I actually started working out age 15. I've always been into sports, huh? pero yung tipong buhat at the age of 15. Yes, napaka sporting ani Enzo. Um, You've been to our uh, ultimate frisbee, obstacle course, ra course racing, running, powerlifting, swimming, basketball. Ikaw na. Among these uh, sports, ano talaga yung oh, lahat naman to love mo at very passionate ka. Pero alin dito yung talagang uh, hindi mawawala sa yung yung talagang super duper love na love mo at bakit? Well, Quidil. Uh, um, it depends talaga on what I'm focusing on. Kasi very goal-oriented yung training ko eh. I want to make sure that I'm training towards a certain goal. I've been playing frisbee since high school. Um, still still tossing the disc every now and then. Um, but right now, my main goal is in obstacle course racing. Um, I find that it has a really good mix between endurance and strength. Um, for those who don't know what obstacle course racing is, Isipin po ninyo, it's a fun run where you have to go through obstacles. So imagine like a 5K, 10K, 21-kilometer run where you have to go through obstacles, um, break the rhythm from running, and exert strength, diba? So that's been my that's been my focus as of late. Um, I like the idea of being a well-rounded athlete, um, and that's why it's been my main focus on training now. Okay, ayon. And um, ano yung what was your reaction or tama? Ano yung motivation mo? Your greatest motivation in joining the Century to the Super Buds twenty twenty. Well, my greatest uh, motivation to join Century to the Super Buds, um, it's really a big platform to be able to touch as many lives as I can. Eh? Um, as I mentioned, Kuya Dale, my idea of um, success and impact in life is really being able to 
touch as many lives as I can. And I believe that through Century Tuna Super Buds, I'll be I'm given that platform to voice out my advocacy, which is inclusive fitness, and that anyone can be fit, that everybody can be a super bud. So that has been my main advocacy. And I believe that Century Tuna is an amazing avenue to do so. Um, I'm surrounded by very amazing fitspirations also, and I want to use their stories to be able to inspire people who perhaps can't relate with my own. Right? Um, let's say I'm, I'm trying to inspire a mother. I'm trying to inspire a mother. Uh, let's say I'm trying to inspire um, a tita. I won't be able to inspire her with my story, but I can definitely expose her to a community that has different stories. Like, let's say in Super Buds, we have stories like Shirley Garcias, who at the age of 49, she is smoking and really, really good uh, in terms of her fitness, right? Um, yes. She can be able to inspire so many women her age. And that's my idea of inclusive fitness, inspiring people through my story and the stories of others. Okay, um, eto, na lockdown tayo, di ba? So, we're in quarantine. All of us are staying at home. Uh, my question is, um, how do you mean, since close ang gym, ang mga gym, papaano ang naging routine mo uh, to your healthy and fit body ngayong nasa bahay lang tayo? Okay, uh, I get this question a lot, to be honest. Um, being fit for me is about making the most out of what you have. Um, the gym is really more of a it, it's more of a tool. It's a more of a tool that you can use. But you have everything that you need to achieve a healthy, active lifestyle. Um, as I mentioned, fitness is 80% what you eat. 80% what you eat. So I need to really focus on my diet. Lalo na I'm not moving as much anymore because I'm stuck at home. But in terms of exercise, I have to make do with what I have. So I remember the first few weeks of quarantine, um, I would make use of bodyweight exercises and home equipment such as water bottles, um, chairs. Uh, and I made some key... I made some key investments in terms of equipment. So example, one of the most important equipment that I would recommend for those who are looking to start a home gym, the most important ones for me would be uh, a resistance band, resistance bands of different levels, hopefully, um, a pull-up bar if you don't have any place to do pull-ups, and maybe a dumbbell or two. So that's the first thing. Those are the first things that I invested in. And... Uh, aside from uh, lifting weights, I also do cardio. I actually run 30 kilometers in a week. Okay, ayan. Uh, ayan, yeah, ilan na talaga ni Ramona Julia Sokgang. So, ayan. Yeah. Enzo Bonoan 2020. Okay. So, ayan. Um, ngayon, uh, na-quarantine tayo. Stay at home. Uh, before the quarantine, you are chosen to be one of the finalists. So it's a milestone. It's a big break. Because ito na, nag-lockdown na. So we, we expected that everything stops, everything will be uh, in, in, in indefinite postponement. Then, bigla kayong tinawagan, bigla kayong uh, tinex or message ng Century Tuna na tuloy ang contest, tuloy ang competition. Yeah. It, it will be a virtual, uh, uh, the duration will be virtual then uh, hindi pa clear ang plano for the finals. Ano yung reaction mo nung uh, na message or tinawagan na o oh, eto tuloy tayo? What was your first reaction? Well, I've, I was already really waiting for the announcement of what's going to happen. Um, I was actually excited when I first found out. I was really excited um, because it's something that's still a li once-in-a-lifetime experience. Being part of this contest is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And knowing that it's still on is such a huge blessing. So whether it, it's not the same as it used to be, but the fact that we're still able to use the platform to um, inspire others and perhaps even at a more effective um, method now through social media, because social media is the means of communication right now. Um, I find that it's still a blessing. It's still a blessing. So I'm really glad that we're still on. 
Okay, ngayong ano, lockdown, may na-discover ka bang something new sa sarili mo? Like a hobby? Like that? Uh, um, I could deal. I started um I started my own cooking hashtag. It's hashtag cooking with Enzo. Um I actually do Shopee live streams and dun nagsimula. I was thinking of content that I could put on social media. Oh sorry, on my live streams. And I figured, you know what? Since I'm the one cooking at home, why not I use I use yung pagluluto ko. So, I decided to get um to exert more effort into improving my cooking uh, my cooking skills and Now we're actually having food-related challenges for Superbod, so it's very timely that I learned to get better at cooking. So yeah, um, I enjoy cooking now. Okay, so halimbawa, let's say uh, one day bigla kami sumugod sa bahay mo, kami team ng Entertainment News Portal, uh, kasama ang mga aking mga teammates. Ano ihahain sa amin pagkain na uh, gawa or luto ni Enzo Bonoan? Okay. So yeah, um, I would like to always, um, I would always like to uh, prepare something that follows three things. Since number one, biglaan lang to, so kailangan simple, kailangan simple. Um, pero based on my based on my beliefs when it comes to dieting, it has to be healthy, but it should also taste great. Okay. So I would serve you guys what I just posted on my Instagram. My cheesy tuna bites with dip, healthy, delicious, and very simple to make. Um, you guys wow. can check it out. Uh, I posted it there. Hopefully, maglaway kayo sa panonood. Yeah. Okay. So, ato. Since we're talking about food, and kanina na tanong ko na yung uh, naging routine mo during this quarantine period. Kuso namin naman malaman ano yung regular meal intake ni Enzo. Okay. Uh, my diet, uh, my diet philosophy revolves around two things. Okay, so these two things are flexible dieting. Flexible dieting. I'll talk about this in a bit. Uh, the second one is movaba. So movaba, it's a, it's an acronym. No, it's a shortened, it's a shortened um, phrase for moderation. Everything in moderation. Variety and balance. Everything in moderation. Wow. Variety and balance. Because let's talk about moderation. Um, it's very important to make sure that you don't get in too much of something and you don't get too little of something. People like to label food as good and bad. But you're not going to die just by eating one, let's say, Pop-Tart or one um, Piatos or something. Um, because it's labeled as junk food, diba? Right? These are foods that I still include in my diet because they make me happy. But the thing is, the key word is moderation. So I still am able to eat the foods that I love, but as long as it's in good amounts. There's even something, um, you, there's even um, toxic effects that comes from eating too much of something. So let's say vegetables. Having too much of, let's say, broccoli can be bad for you. Um, that's that's too much of a certain nutrient, and that can be toxic for you. So you don't want that to happen. Get everything in the right amounts. That's moderation. The second one is variety. Um, I'd like to give my favorite example, which is scurvy. Um, many sailors, many sailors back in the 1700s, 1600s, they suffered from scurvy because their diets were very Um, or very low in vitamin C. Vitamin C is what you get from a lot of vegetables and fruits. But since they were at sea, they they usually had grains only. Um, they only had fish. So they lacked vitamin C. That's why they got scurvy. That's called nutrient deficiency. You can avoid nutrient deficiency by getting a wide variety of foods in your diet. And lastly, is balance. Everything in balance. Because if you don't, if you have too much of something, you gain weight. If you have too little of something, you lose weight. And if you have too little of something to the point of excess, excess um, weight loss, that's going to lose. That's going to mean muscle loss for you as well. So you want to be able to have it in good balance. 
that's move about. And lastly, is flexible dieting. I believe in eating 80% nutrient dense foods, but being able to enjoy and not feel guilty about including 20% of the fun food. <clears throat> Yon. Wow, actually, nakakatuwa. Ang dami ko na namang natutunan. Ang dami namin natutunan. And sa lahat ng mga super buds na na-interview namin, ang dami. Every day, every interview talaga ang daming learnings. And thank you, Enzo, for giving us the, uh, yung mga yan. Yung, uh, it's it's like a food na para pumapasok sa sistema namin na, wow, yung pala pwedeng gawin. Ayun ang pwede. Ayun ang, yun ang, yun ang pwede namin gawin. Yun ang pwede namin i-adopt. Pwede kami maging healthy, pwede kami maging fit, kagaya din ninyo. Salamat yeah. ng marami for sharing your uh, wisdom. Ayun. So, ito. Ito. Um, ano reaction ng parents mo, ng girlfriend mo, ng mga relatives and friends mo nung, nung nalaman nila na uh, you are one of the official finalists for the Century 2 na Super Buds 2020? I'm very thankful that I'm surrounded by very very supportive friends and family members. Um, the success of one another is a success for us. And when I was announced to be one of the finalists, uh, they were watching the replays. Uh, many, many bloggers put the their recordings on YouTube and they watched it there. So they really felt excited for me. Um, I feel like it's our journey, not just mine. Wow. And eto, ano naman ang masasabi mo dito? Kasi from my from the previous interview with the male superbud na na-interview namin, ikaw ang may pinakamaraming tara, tara. Kasi ang tanong ko, who is your greatest competition? And ikaw yung number one sa listahan. What is what? your reaction about that? Yes, um, ikaw. I feel very thankful that um, that I'm included in that conversation because I'm surrounded by really amazing men and women also. Um, it's because when I was lined up with them in day one, because I remember the direct Robbie would, um, he would tell us where to stand and also that we would form one group picture. And just by looking to my left, looking to my right, it was really amazing to see how I'm surrounded by huge fits, fitspirations. So being included in the in the conversation of who would be the the person to beat, quote unquote, that's such a huge compliment. And I really hope though that what it means is that I'm able to like I don't want to win because um let's say I oh no, um ako yung let's say uh, people would think that I'm winning because ako yung pinaka may ganito or may pinaka ganyan or May kaya magsalita. Ayoko nang ganun, um, Kuya Dale. I actually want my win, if ever it should happen, to really stand for something more than personal, more than personal um, attributes. It should really be, I want to be able to win so that I can be able to live out my advocacy, which is promoting inclusive fitness. I want my win to stand for something, and I hope that the person who mentioned that, um, sees that I can be that person to touch the lives of others as well. Ngayon, ibabalik ko naman sa'yo yung tanong. Kung ikaw ang tatanungin, among the other male superbad finalists, sino sa tingin mo yung napakalaki ng chance na maging uh, uh, next image model ng Century 2 na superbuds? Or ng Century 2 na? At bakit? Well, for me... For me, um, the Century Tuna Superbuds winner should be someone who has a heart for the Filipino people, especially now with the idea of stay strong Filipinas. And Century Tuna being a Filipino brand, I find that, I find that someone who can connect to uh, the Filipinos should be chosen. And I guess um, inclusivity talk. Um, inclusivity, inclusivity wise, I would go with my friend Gian Ruiz. Um, Gian Ruiz was with me in Gold's Gym Bodycon um, when we joined in 2019. And 
he was one of the guys that I looked up to and I said that, hey, this guy actually does have a heart for other people. This guy wants to genuinely inspire other people. And that's my idea of a winner. Someone who wants to genuinely inspire and use their platform to the most, uh, not just to build build them themselves up, but to bring others alongside with them. And his platform and his advocacy really resonates with me. It's about being able to pursue your passions despite your busy schedule. And Filipinos are very hardworking. Filipinos are busy tayong lahat eh. So being able to still find joy and by enjoying your passion, that's something that I would really appreciate in a winner as well. Okay, going back to one of your uh, hobbies, um, you like playing guitar and making music. Uh, anong pinaka, ayan, anong favorite mong uh, guitar piece at anong uh, music ang kinecreate mo na, ayan. You, yes. I have a guitar with me. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I actually like, I, I actually like writing songs also. Um, mm-hmm. when I so was, do you, have, do you have an original composition? I have original compositions. Um, yes, uh, okay. I'm not gonna give a sample. <laughs> um, you know, uh, this for props, lang. Um, I like writing music, um, based on what I feel. Um, it's not a known fact that I do write songs, um, because it's something that, um, I don't really include as part of my brand as much. Um, I really want to focus on, I want to go all in on fitness, but I, through my Shopee live streams, that's where I, where I feature other aspects of my life. Um, music has been a huge part of my life since grade school. And right now it's just um, something that I still enjoy until today. Um, I enjoy playing alternative. I enjoy playing OPM. I love playing um, rock, naginong acoustic. <laughs> Sayang naman, di kami makakadinig ng kahit konting sample. Konti lang? Okay. Yeah, konti lang. If you, uh, kahit uh, part lang ng chorus, marinig lang namin yung message. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sige, um, baan ba? Okay, three, two, one. Um, oh, everyone knows this song. This is super simple. Mm-hmm. When you say nothing at all. Wow. Thank you very much. Ang ganda. Ang sarap naman sa Tahaka Redux. Diba? Um, Surprise concert pala. Yeah. It's actually, uh, talaga na ipakita mo na, aside from being a super bad, isa kang musiker. Kasi ano yun eh, mga ano mo naman yung sa tao, eh, kung, tao kung ang tao ba yung musiker or mga awit, mga awit or musiker, isa kang musiker. Sobra. Thank you so much. Proud of you. Sobra. Galing. Okay. Now, Enzo, what will be your advice to someone like me na nagsisimula into uh, this uh, uh, healthy and fit journey? Okay. Um, I'll give you the same advice that I usually give my clients. The first one is to clearly define what your goal is. Clearly define what your goal is. Many people would say, um, gusto ko pumayat. Um, gusto ko maging healthy, di ba? 
um, I think you can actually make it a lot more motivating by incorporating the SMART approach. So SMART is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. So I think that would re be a really good start. Make SMART goals. And the second one would be to learn from people who have done it before. Um, something that I wish I did when I was starting out was to employ a employ a coach um, to help to help myself by getting someone else more knowledgeable on the matter. Because to be honest, I was very I was very slow when it came to progress. Ang bagay talaga ng progress ko. Grabe yung plateau because I didn't know any better. Um, so first to know what your goal is. Next is ask for help. And the third one, which I think is very important, which is oftentimes overlooked by many people, is to find a community to be a part of. Uh, that actually really plays into my advocacy of creating and fostering communities that are welcoming enough to inspire people. Um, and that's because communities are there to support you. Communities can help influence you, motivate you, and teach you. We actually have this um, uh, quarantine initiative going on, Gridale. It's called the Morning Club. Uh, the Morning Club was designed as a response to our our um, our outdoor communities no longer existing. That's why we decided to form a virtual uh, virtual community. And we started this mid-April. So it's been running since April. So April, May, June, July, August. So naka five months na kami running. So we have our morning morning gatherings every MWF. You may join us as well. Um, it's open to all. Um, it's via Zoom. So what happens is we have, we have um, icebreakers. We have some getting to know you. Um, and we also have sharings um, this is where we get to share our wins our successes and our experiences um we also have um talks where we actually give information so for me the com a community is really about um in inspiration motivation and information wow uh, that's a new learning again a community so hopefully soon makapag ano rin ako maka join din ako sa community na yan. Okay. Okay. Now, if you win Centric Tuna Buds, a uh, Super Buds 2020, what are we going to expect from Enzo Bonoan? Okay, um uh Kuya, I'm actually a firm believer that whenever we receive blessings Whenever we receive blessings, we should always we should always give a portion of it to as as ally as ally um say thank you um it's in a way asking asking the Lord to bless the gifts He has given um and I think the first thing that I would really do is to use the, the winnings let's say the winnings first and foremost I would use the winnings. To help those who are in need. Um, right now, I can see there that there are a lot of people who don't have work right now. Um, na hindi talaga sapat ang, ang income nila to sustain like their families and all. Um, and one of the hardest hit places would be my hometown of Masbate. Um, oh, I, I'm part Masbate niya, by the way. Uh, I would like to I would like to help my um, Kababayans there um, with the, the winnings there as well. Um, that's first and foremost. Ask the Lord to bless the gifts. Um, the second one would be to further promote the the mission. And the mission for me has been the same ever since Gold's Gym Bodycon. And that's to help every Filipino live healthier and active lives. I want I want health and fitness to be the norm. You know, because when you think about fitness talaga eh, um, people would think that's pang mayaman, para sa mga tao na may time, that would be something na um, you only do if you're really disciplined. I think that it should be more normal to talk about because we have bodies that are built to move and that are meant to be nourished. So all of us, 
all of us need to take care of ourselves, not just a few people. Um, in our population, palang, fitness is not that much of a priority. Um, I want to change that. I want to help promote fitness to as many Filipinos as I can. Um, and not, that's not just, that's not just, I know, um, that's not just the people who are um, within the uh, target market ng mga gyms, di ba? Um, or people na who actually can afford. I want to target everyone. Yes. Wow. Um, ano ba? Napaka-determined sobra. Nakakatuwa. Sobrang yung, yung determination mo nag-uumapo. And Kanina nag-react ako sa mas bati kasi um, kami mga nasa pageant community, we are, cre- we are, we are known for this creating groups uh, sa mga pageant community, mga pianatics, like that, Catreonians. So, yung, yung inalagaan namin sa Binibining Pilipinas kasi si Hannah Arnold. So, ayun, ako yung pinaka ano, head ng Hannah Beast, which uh, nirepresent niya ang mas bate. So, medyo close sa amin yung mas bate kasi, ayun, uh, because of Hannah. Great. Yeah. yeah, I know Hannah also. I met her in Golds. Yes, very sweet girl. Napaka-sweet na babae. Okay, now let's go to Fast Talk. Ready ka na? Woo. Let's go. Yes, Fast Talk tayo. Pili ka lang ha? Let's go. Cardio or yoga? Sorry, what's the first one? <laughs> Car- okay, sorry. Cardio or yoga? Yoga. Push-ups or pull-ups? Pull ups. Heavy lifting or CrossFit? Heavy lifting. Bike or treadmill? Bike. <laughs> Boxing or karate? Boxing. Hanging bars or rock climbing? Hanging bars. Free weights or machine? Free weights. Abs or biceps? <laughs> um, abs na lang. <laughs> abs. Okay. Marathon or Zumba? Marathon. It's a goal, actually. Okay. Leg day or rest day? Rest day. Okay. Important thing, rest. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. We have hiking or surfing. Hiking, but I would love to surf. I just don't know how. Okay, let's have this one. Keto diet or intermittent fasting? Um, intermittent fasting, since nagagawa ko naman siya uh, accidentally. Keto, I, don't, I can't give up carbs. Okay. Lean beef or chicken breast? Lean beef, mas masarap. Yes. Steak or sushi? Steak. I just had steak like a few days ago. Pizza or burgers? Yeah, no, no. But I just had pizza for dinner. Um, but I'm having burgers on Monday. So go burgers, all. Okay. Romantic dinner or outdoor adventure? Outdoor adventure. Sino ang gusto mong isama? Um, yung nagka comment jan na sa sa live. Okay. Is it boxers or briefs? Briefs. Flakes in oil or hot and spicy? Flakes in oil. Um, actually, medyo mababa yung tolerance ko for spicy, to be honest. Uh, pero uh, flakes in oil is really good. Classic. Okay. Choose only one from your male fellow finalists. If I will be quarantined, I would like to spend it with mail. I'd like to spend it with uh siguro someone who I've gotten uh, along with um as of late. Um this per uh this person has actually been Someone I was talking to talaga during this time. Um, we have a lot of interests. Um, we share the same interests and uh, philosophies regarding fitness. Um, I would like to spend that time with Malcolm Mostoles. 
Mm, okay. Now, although I know you have a special someone who is watching right now, pero in case, choose one from your fellow female finalists. If I will be quarantined, I would like to spend it with... She's actually become one of my closest friends in real life now. Um, we were assigned as partners, and um, I think I found more than a partner in her. Uh, she's a confidant, um, and right now, one of my closest friends. Um, Samantha Purvor. Whoa, okay. Soon, si Samantha naman ang aming ilalive by next week. Yes, next weekend. So, abangan right. niya next weekend. Okay, so that's it now. Uh, Enzo, please, uh, I'll give you now the floor to, again, promote your advocacy. Paano ka namin pwedeng matulungan or paano ka pwedeng matulungan ng, ng mga fans sa iyong journey towards Century Tuna Super Buds 2020? And please do promote your social media, your official social media account. Saka pwedeng ma-follow, saka pwedeng ma-like, ma-add, saka pwedeng ma-stalk. <laughs> okay, so hello to all our viewers. Magandang uh, gabi sa inyo lahat. Thank you for being with us, and I'd like to let you guys know what I stand for in our contest, Sensory Tuna Super Buds. I stand for inclusive fitness, and that fitness belongs to everyone. And every bud can be a super bud. Um, if you haven't started on your fitness journey just yet, um, I suggest that you take steps towards it, because it's one of the most enriching experience that you'll ever have in your life, and it's something that really changed my life as well. You will not regret it, I swear. Um, help me promote this advocacy through um, this contest. If you guys would like to support me, we are having online challenges that are going on right now. We just released the first one so you can support me through liking my recipe. It's the Cheesy Tuna Bites with Dip. It's on the Facebook page of Century Tuna Super Bods. All you just have to do is go to my photo and then you click like. Maybe even leave a comment. Perhaps even leave a sh <laughs> maybe even share it, okay? Um, or even try it out. Tag nyo ako if nagustuhan nyo yung recipe ko. Um, and you guys can also uh, find me on social media. Um, I'm on Facebook. Uh, I have a page. It's called Enzo. Just type in facebook.com slash Enzo Bonoan. And my Instagram is Enzo Bonoan24. If you guys would also like to catch me on Shopee Live, I do Shopee Live streams every 1 to 2 p.m. Um, Monday to Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So we had one a while ago. Um, you guys can catch me there. Um, I post, uh, I do a lot of content there that's not as related to fitness. Naman. So other side of my life. Naman siya. Um, and you know, guys, um, thank you so much for your support. Um, I'm really thankful to be a part of this opportunity with you guys. Hopefully we can turn this country, uh, this country healthier and happier. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much, uh, Enzo Bonon, our super bud for today. And sa lahat po ng mga nanood, from the start till the end of this live uh, chat interview, maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, sa mami ni Enzo, sa lahat po ng friends niya, relatives, uh, maraming maraming salamat. And Enzo, you can, ano pala, you can uh, view their comments sa aming, sa aming page kasi uh, kanina tapos sa ating re uh, reading of comments eh, no? so yung mga follow up na comments andun lang naman siya and all of them okay. are very very good comments lahat yun okay. are, are ex expressing support towards I'll you check them out. Okay. Okay, so ayun po um, good if I may um, I'd just like to also thank you and the rest of Entertainment News Portal for having me with you guys yeah. um, it's such a huge honor to be um on live with you guys uh, tonight. Uh, maraming salamat sa pagkakataon na magsalita at makipaghalubilo sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat. At uh, wag nyo rin po kalimutan, of course, to follow our official social media accounts. Entertainment News Portal, our official Facebook page. Pakitype lang po sa search engine ng inyong Facebook Entertainment News Portal and follow or like our official Facebook page. Our official Instagram account at ENP Official our official website, www.entertainmentnewsportal.com and our official YouTube channel at Arvin Cabachete. Lahat po ng mga live chat namin na gaya nito ay simultaneous ang broadcast sa aming official Facebook page, sa aming official website, at sa aming official uh, YouTube channel. And kung meron po kayong mga na-miss na mga episodes sa aming live chat interview, punta lang po kayo sa aming official YouTube channel. Andun po lahat na previous live chat interview namin at Arvin Cabachete. And my 
personal Facebook account, uh, Dale Gregory de Medina, and our and my personal Instagram account, uh, Dale underscore off underscore ENP1988, para po sa mga updates din sa aming mga uh, magiging live chats with the Super Buds. And tomorrow po, tomorrow, it's a triple treat Super Bud Day. It's a uh, Ratcha Daku Ratcha Day dal tatlo po ito sunod-sunod at 2 p.m. we have Superbad Albert Lorenzo at 5 p.m. we have Superbad Liz and at 8 p.m. tomorrow we have Superbad Christine Picardal ayan so abangan po natin yan bukas as uh, uh, aming uh, official social media account sila po ang Amin ila live tomorrow. And again, sabi nga ng Century to the Superbuds, stay strong, Pilipinas. So, uh, not only stay safe, but we have to stay strong. Sa mga nangyayari ngayon, we have, uh, we have to be strong enough. Kailangan, uh, we have to follow all the safety protocols. And sana, soon we heal as one. We, we are, ano na, we're back to the normal. Hindi new normal, ah the normal we can we can catch up with each other by the time magbeso beso yakapin natin yeah. mga close friends natin mga families relatives uh, na nawalay na matagal na panahon yon ayun so hopefully lahat po tayo ay maging okay na in sooner yun po at again god bless magandang gabi po Enzo thank you very much that's it everyone bye bye po salamat everyone god bless and good night